Hello guys, welcome to navigating the three commas features jungle with the trading parrot. Did you know that three commas has a channel on trading view, not just featuring market insights? For those of you interested in market technical analysis, you're going to find a link in the description of three commas trading view channel. Make sure that you're following it. Have a look at the ideas in October three commas released the signal builder which you can also find in TradingView 3 commas channel. This particular Pine script, which is fully open source, available to anyone, allows you to create custom signals that can be sent to 3 commas bots, including DCA bots and signal bots. In today's video, we're gonna be focusing on how to integrate the signal builder Pine script to build a 3 commas bot using the signal bot. I've been for years focusing only on the DCA bot, but I have to say that when it comes to integrating trading view signals, the signal bot makes the experience very easy to set up. But before we get into the setup, we're going to add the signal builder into a chart. For that, I'm gonna pick Bitcoin. Make sure that you pick the asset in the exchange that you're gonna use and that you're also selecting the corresponding product. If you're going to trade with futures, use the chart of futures of Binance, or if you're going to use spot the same. So let's say we're going to trade the one hour on Bitcoin on Binance spot. Next, we are going to bring in the script. I'm going to click on indicators and search by three commas. This one that is called signal builder. That's the one that you want to use. You can also click on read more. If you want to read the instructions or if you want to see the code, let's select it. It's pretty cool the way it's presented the indicator. I have to say, you can see that there is a panel on the top of the screen showing you your buy entries, buy exits, sell entry and sell exits. And that is pretty much in line with what precisely the signal bot is going to do. More of that in just a second. If you select the builder settings by double clicking on the name of the signal, you can observe that at the top of the settings, you have three commas DCA bot settings. This area in here is reserved for integration when you're using the signal builder together with DCA bots. But in this video, we're gonna focus on how to integrate it with the signal bots. So for now, we're going to ignore the top settings. Scrolling down, you're gonna find that it's very interesting the way that things are organized in this particular Pine script. A series of different technical indicators, one by one grouped, for example, the crypto screener from TradingView, RSI, Ultimate Oscillator, Bollinger Bands, Moving Averages, ADX, stochastic etc etc and the way they have organized this is by offering signals to buy and to sell basically to go long and short to enter in the long to exit from the long and the different time frames that you want to use so let's assume that we're going to build a long bot and we're going to integrate it with the signal bot so just as an example i'm going to work with trading view crypto screener and i'm going to use the buy signal on the one hour time frame to enter my long if you start scrolling down you're going to notice that the script comes already with some pre-selected signals as an example but we're going to remove all of them and as we do that that is going to make a lot smaller the panel at the top because the panel is supposed to represent everything that you have currently selected. So after I have unselected everything else, I am left just with the buy entry using the buy trigger from Crypto Screener. And our panel at the top now is extremely simple. And now if I want to select a sell signal coming from the Crypto Screener also to exit, all I need to do is select the buy exit. And you can see how the summary updates at the top. But of course, we want to do something a little bit more ambitious and we're going to also add an RSI. What will happen if in the one hour I select RSI as well with a crossover 30 and across under 70 just for simplicity and I selected these two elements as well. Of course, they're going to appear as well in the panel, reminding me everything that is selected for my entry and for my exit. And the way this is going to work is signals are going to be sent from the signal builder as an alert into the three commas bot only when both conditions are true at the same time on a candle close. In this case, we are requiring a buy signal from the crypto screener and we are requiring a crossover of the RSI. That is just an example. It's not a profitable strategy. It's just to make sure 
that we get right the full setup of TradingView together with the signal bot on three commas. Since we're not gonna be using DCA bot and this video is focused on the signal bot, now we're gonna have to head down to three commas and make sure that you are on the signal bot on three commas. And here is the first decision point. We need to decide between custom signal and trading view strategy. In this particular case, we are using the signal builder, which is not a pine script strategy. PineScript strategies offers backtesting capabilities and in this case this is an indicator that is just responsible for sending signals and for plotting things in the chart. So let's go ahead and let's pick custom signal and the first thing that stands out in here is the webhook which we need to copy by hitting this box. We're gonna need it in just a moment and you can see we are one out of four steps to complete the whole setup which is just gonna take a couple of minutes. Now that I have this webhook copied in my clipboard, I'm gonna head back down to TradingView and click create alert. And this is another thing that changes in the integration because we are using SignalBot instead of a DCA bot, we're not gonna use the any alert function call. We're gonna have to create one alert on TradingView for the buy and a separate one for buy exit. And that is because we're going to paste the message that needs to be sent to the bot. For now, we don't have that message. Don't worry, in just a moment, we're gonna get it. I'm gonna head now to notifications part of the alert. I don't wanna use notify an app and show toast notification that makes things too noisy for me during the day, but I do want an email so I keep track of everything that is going on with my bot and you must use the webhook. And here's the time where you paste the webhook that we collected from this area. Now that we are done with this, let's go back to the settings of the alert and let's give this a name. It's gonna be called Elon. And since this is the buy signal to my entry, I'm gonna call it buy. You can call it also deal start. It really doesn't matter as long as you remember which bot you're talking about on TradingView. And then later on, when you see your signal bot, seeing that it's called the same name, it's going to make things more tidy for you to troubleshoot as well. Let's click, I have set up the webhook URL, although I haven't done it yet. I'm gonna go with an investment of $100 in this bot. You can also select by percentage, so a relative amount to the size of the account if you wanted that. Let's call this bot Elon as well here, and let's click next. Look, we are three out of four steps. We are almost done. Now we are gonna select the entry orders and exit orders. My entry orders, let's click on this Chevron entry orders, and here's where we can select the volume per order. Order. Notice that if you open this drop down menu, you get many options in here for full flexibility total investment in percentage, base order, size based on the base, currency, quote, currency, sending webhook, percentage, quote. You have all the options for full control. In this case, I'm just gonna leave it in the default and I'm gonna make sure that I copy this message because in here is where we're telling the bot in the alert to enter along. We're giving instructions on how much lag we want to accept and TradingView will fill up these placeholders with the timestamp, the instrument and all of that. Let's go back to TradingView and let's paste that message in here. Notice that when I click outside the box, it goes green, showing me that the message is JSON well formed, that there are no issues. Once you're done with the message, the name of the alert, and you have selected the corresponding condition that you're going to use, together with webhook, of course, then you can create the alert. At that point, personally, I will hit done and go for the exit orders. These are the ones that are either going to take full profit or take a loss or partial profits as well. Let's hit on exit orders. And here you have the decision of either taking 100% out of the deal or just a fraction of it. Again, you have many, many options to control how to exit the market, assuming you're going to send multiple exit order alerts into your bot. This message is different from the one before, in this case, the action is called exit long. Notice that you cannot use the same message for the entry and the exit. Otherwise, you're gonna have two consecutive entries. Click the square to copy it. And this time we need to use the buy exit. We want to exit from the previous buy that was already placed. One thing I forgot to mention, which is very important, is to use the once per bar close. 
By doing this, you're going to prevent any issues with repainting. If you leave it in only once, if the oscillator or indicator enters in the buy zone and then exits on intra candle price action, the alert might be sent and then invalidated immediately after. So let's go for once per bar close. And in this case, we're gonna call it close buy, but you can call it anything that reminds you that this is closing your long. Let's paste the new message in here and let's confirm that it's green. Let's double check that we still have the webhook selected and let's create the new alert. Now that we have both alerts ready for my longs entries and exits, we can move on by clicking next into the final step. Let's wrap up what we have done. We have set up the signal builder to send two alerts consisting one for an entry of a long using two events that need to happen at the same time to trigger and for exiting the same but the opposite signals. We got two alerts and they're going to be sent to this bot. You may or may not want to add on top of this some settings in your signal bot for take profit and stop losses. If you want three commas to handle your stop losses, for example, which I think in many cases is a good idea, we're gonna hit on stop losses and define where we want to place the stop loss. Notice as well that this offering the break even, but in order to use break even, then on take profits, we need to enable at least two take profit levels. Very similar to what we can do already with DCA bots. Once you're done, you can hit create. Notice that this is optional. We can always create the bot and leave the responsibility of everything to the trading view script. And by the way, it doesn't need to be a trading view script. It could be a Python script. You can build your signal with every programming language that you want and use these webhooks. Once you hit create, hopefully you're not gonna see this pop up, which is being shown to me because my Binance spot account didn't have enough funds. I'm gonna proceed anyway. So you can see my bot is in here. Pretty cool that you can see separately the signals that are coming in to the platform on three commas and the results of the bot in here as well. The bot aggregates the overall state of the full bot, whereas the signals is each of the events that are coming in to the bot. Remember that signal bots offer bulk actions. I won't be covering those in these videos, but be aware that's something pretty cool. Signal bots have been implemented with a key requirement, which is faster execution. Remember that signal bots are primarily designed to work with external signals coming into three commas and then being passed into the exchange. Therefore, there is a need to make sure that the whole chain of events happened as fast as possible. When using signal bots, the signals are placed in as little as three seconds, more than 75% of the time. You have access to market, limit orders, trailing tech profit and stop loss, and loads of advanced features. We are just touching the tip of the iceberg in here. If you're a fan of custom signals, strategies on TradingView, using a signal bot is something that you probably don't want to miss. And by the way, guys, don't forget to follow 3Commas on Telegram to stay up to date with all new features coming in on 3Commas. Follow 3Commas on TradingView to not miss any of the ideas and future scripts coming in. And if you want to give a try to 3Commas platform, make sure that you use the link in the description, which offers a very nice discount as well. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.